What's up guys? So before you decide to pull your epoxy, right? You need to find out if you need a moisture barrier. So this here. Ghost door. Ghost door. It's reading 6.9% because it's having a touch of my hand. So what this does, it tells the humidity in the air, and it also tells if there's water or moisture in the concrete. Because if water comes up through the concrete, that'll nothing will stick, right? If you don't have a moisture barrier. Most of the new places, they put a moisture barrier down under the rock, right? When they pour the concrete. And so it keeps the water from coming up through. Uh, some guys don't. I recommend that you do because it'll save a lot of problems. Because like I said, when water comes up, goes under your house and comes up under the concrete, it'll bubble the epoxy and pull it right off. It will not stay. So what you have to do is make sure you test this and that way you'll know if you have to have a moisture barrier, right? So you want under five, right there is exactly five. So come over here, let's test this. That's a 4.0. Hmm. That's a 5. Hmm. 4.3. So all that's good. If you get up to about a 7, you want to use a moisture barrier. But if you get very much higher than that, then you need to rethink what you're going to do because that means there's so much moisture coming up through the concrete nothing's going to stay so then there, that means that there's other water issues that are so much pad you know 4.8 five point one This is about eight hundred to a thousand dollars. This right here, but it, you got to have it. You know what I mean? If not, find someone to borrow one from. If you're doing this yourself. All right, guys, you have a great day. You know we are.